Hi. I'm sitting in the car and drinking tea. And in about two minutes, I'm going to get a phone call on my cell phone from a government official uh, in, in Denmark, in the second capital city of Aarhus. But right now I'm not in Aarhus. I'm actually in, a, in another city called Vibo because my Danish partner, my lady, she's, uh, you know, today's the day she's uh, defending her last thesis. She's handed in her final thesis. Now she's doing the oral exam, which essentially means after today she graduates. So I'm uh, filming for posterity and to show the world the kind of policies that uh, Denmark has put in place in regards to foreign people like myself, regardless of the fact that my lady, my partner, she's Danish. I have a son who's Danish. We are expecting a child in three months, a girl who's going to be a Danish citizen. The government would still call me to quote unquote they are obliged to call me and tell me about my rights to repatriation and I consider it a form of psychological harassment against foreigners especially when I came to Denmark they invited me to this country because of my literature my work which criticizes the dictatorship in my you know way I I was born and I, they know that I was not safe they didn't even get me from my own country. They got me from another country where I was also not safe. And they gave me sanctuary. But fast forward several years later, due to some of these racist policies that are well known in the world, I'm actually privileged to show this to the world when this uh, official is going to call me, I guess, any minute now. Mm. And to record this and put it on video. So I'm waiting for her to call. And it's going to be interesting. And, you know, yeah, waiting for that phone call. So just waiting and waiting because she told me at 11. So, this is 11. I'll put the phone on speaker as well. So that we, uh, you know, I just need to make sure that this thing is recording. So, just a second. Okay, it is recording. So, you never know with this technology. You think you're recording. And then you are not recording. So now I'm gonna get me some more tea. It's a bit cold out here in Denmark. You know, and it's amazing. My lady, I didn't have to tell her about, uh, you know, these people are calling me about repatriation. I mean, think about it. She's pregnant, she's doing her thesis, her final exam. Imagine the pressure. Imagine I have to tell her. And by the way, honey, the government is saying, oh, by the way, we have this uh, wonderful repatriation package. I mean, you want to separate me from my kids or what, you know, uh, from my family. I mean, I, th I think it's a bit absurd in a form of harassment. But they're doing this to probably a whole bunch of uh, foreign people in this country who are subjected to this form of psychological harassment. Because I know about the Repatriation Act in Denmark. I've read it. I, I mean, uh, they do this several times a year. They have to send me this information and so on. But because of the coronavirus, I, you know, normally I would have to be in a physical meeting to hear this. And normally I'd always, you know, tear those papers, literally. So this person has not yet called. And that means the government official is late and I have to wait for the government official 
you know i'm just here to support my lady you know she's uh, defending her thesis doing the final oral exam after three and a half years of studying and she's pregnant then this government people said they will call me today january 24 right today is january 24 according to the information the letter they sent to me here at 11 so you know they got my phone number and everything i don't have their phone number and that's the interesting thing you know um so you know i don't know i can call them i have to wait for them to call me so she's four minutes late and i'm waiting and drinking tea well, it's a bit chilly, a bit cold, but you know, I like my tea, so I'm waiting and waiting for the government official to call me. There she goes. All right. Hi. Hello, is it Timba? That is correct. And who am I speaking to? Hi, Timba. Hi. Um, Can we speak in English? Yes, yes, yeah. Oh. We can speak in English. Mm -hmm. I'm just calling you today. Um, have you seen in your ebook that you have? Uh, I have wrote that we should talk now. Yes. Yeah. What, what exactly is the subject matter? Yeah, yeah. It's it's something we should uh, call out to to inform all citizens about. So it's not uh, well, specific to okay. you, but it's w all. When you say all citizens, does that also imply, for example, my 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 partner, my Danish lady? She's a no, 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 just one that have a, a, a you know, um, a, in say, in center for contending. So, so it's you. Yes. I, yeah. What I, about my son, only, for example? He's a Danish citizen. He's five years old. No, he's in kindergarten. No, only, just you. Um, oh, so, because. And, and I'm, I'm calling you for the, because to inform me about a law that's called repatriation. Yes, Repatriation Act. I've read it countless of times. I'm very yeah. familiar with and, it. Yeah, and yes. we should call right now and tell it again. Mm -hmm. and, so how many times do you have to call me or uh, to let me know in a year about this law? Uh, we have many times uh, to to every uh, conversation we should have. Yes. So three months. But from now, mm -hmm. I tell you now and now there go two years before you should in, I should inform you again. Okay. If you have a case in the job center. Okay, but so, can, can can you explain to me um, the? I know you are doing a job, so you you understand, and there are many laws in this country, right? Yeah, and I will tell you a little bit bit about this right now. Okay, can this, you tell me? Yeah, this means that you can get a fine a, the fine financial support to travel back to your home country mm -hmm. or your previous country of residence but do you, do you know how i country? came to denmark no no because we don't we we don't see the the uh, you know case individual we we just should say this to all people because all people should have the um, when you say all people you mean people with a foreign background uh, no people that don't have uh, that stage sportscape what does that mean uh, in English? Um, no Danish. Um, um, what can you say? Citizenship. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Citizenship. Okay. So anyone who is not a Danish citizenship that doesn't yes, have a Danish, yes. you the I, Danish government is obliged to call them and tell them, here's a yes. repatriation act. You can get money in order to get out of Denmark and repatriate yeah. back to where you came from. Yeah. Okay. And we, we say it because some people are sitting out there and don't know about the options they have. Okay. So if there's somebody who don't know they have the option. Yeah, but, but if, you, if you've been informing me, I mean, I've been getting informed about this for yeah, several yeah, years, yeah. But, several times but, a month, you know. I mean, several, not, not a month. Yes? The law yeah, says... The law says that I should do it right now, for example. Yes, because you. it's your job, so, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I yes. have to do it. And I also think it's you know, mm -hmm. uh, not nice to call people to say it mm -hmm. because because I just people... told you my my wife. In case you didn't know, she's pregnant. My lady, okay. you know, she's yeah. going. We're going to have a thank you. You know, we already yeah. have a son who's five years and is Danish. We're going yeah. to have a daughter 
in a, in about yeah. three months was a Dane yeah, citizen. Okay. And both of them have never been to either, you know, my former country of residence or to Zimbabwe. And I was invited here by the Danish state. This is in the newspapers. They gave me sanctuary because of freedom of speech, because of my writings. And yeah. then the government is calling me again to say, repatriate. I mean, repatriate, what do you want to separate me from my... I'm not talking about you. When I say you, remember, yeah. I'm not talking yeah. you as an individual. I'm talking the state. Yeah. The state, for instance, just a few months ago, there was a case of a minister called Inga Stoiberg who wanted to separate these families and she is in prison right now. And I look at this as a form of the government saying we want to separate you, A, from your family, B, we want to send you back to a place where you, you are politically threatened because of your political ideologies, because of my writings, because of my freedom of speech and but, expression, which but, they but gave you, me. You, you should not see in this way, in that way. Yeah, but that's how I, I look at it. Yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, uh, it's uh, um, what can you say, it's an um, opportunity that you get and you can say yeah. no or but yes to it. So I've already said, you know, uh, I think... Yeah, yeah. I've said but, no very clearly to this. Uh, mm. If if you if you look at the previous records, mm. but Maybe I don't I see a reason why I have to. If I say no to you, look, you're a woman, you're familiar in Denmark. There's a new law against rape, for example. It's it's with consent, where they define rape as in if there's no consent, then it's a form of rape, right? We're talking rape. As I'm just using it as an example. Now, mm -hmm. I, I do not consent, for example, to the government uh, calling me or sending people to call me to tell me several times a year. I'm a, I think I'm a fairly intelligent person. I know about this law. If I wanted to repatriate, I would uh, do it myself, you know, or I, I would I know where to get the help. But the fact that it's such a consistent pestering and it's not consensual on my part, that is infringing on my freedom of choice for example because it's like i'm not being given a choice to say i don't want to have this talk i already know about this law for example why doesn't the government call me and tell me about my rights for example when the state is violating my rights like in this case what what should i do for example if i don't consent to you calling me and telling me these things is there a law that can protect me from being harassed by the state for example, I would like somebody to call me and tell me that. Um, I don't understand it, but uh, but I understand that you you says no to it, but yes. I cannot do anything about that. You in two years should have the same information. I, I understand because it's a law in place. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. In, the, in Germany, the Nazis had a law to take the Jews, send them into gas chambers. Some of those Jews escaped, came through Denmark, and some good Danish citizens gave them safe passage some of them were hiding them in denmark out of their own individual conscience because they realized we're breaking the law of the germans and and all that but we are saving and helping to save these people but some officials when they caught these people they send them back to the gas chambers i'm just making an extreme example to say there yeah, were yeah. there were officials in the german state who refuse to carry out the orders of the government when you can see these orders are violating these people's uh, you know psychological health these people's because how do you think i just told you I've, i'm having a baby in three months mm. i have a son who's five years old i have but my lady not, yes we're not looking at individuals yeah but if you, you 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 don't look at an individual it's designed that way but you, you understand mm. i have to look at my case as as it is you don't look at my case as my reality. I, I, understand, I yes. understand that. And, and the only thing you should say right now is, uh, no, I don't want to uh, take that, uh, uh, you know, uh, opportunity. Yeah, yes, I, you know, uh -huh. that one I've already said it countless times. Mm. Yeah, what, I, what I would actually like to say is, long. no, I don't want to receive this phone calls or these emails. No, you, but you can't do that because yes. you are getting a uh, content yield and there's mm -hmm. rules you have to, mm -hmm. uh, when you get uh, some paid uh, from us, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get money from us mm -hmm. and then we have some rules. Okay. Um, so, so it's like when uh, every... Um, so is it about I money then? It. Let me understand no, this. No, no, no. It's, it's like... It's like we, we give you money so we can harass you 
because you no, have no, 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 no. We yes. have to do if like when I'm in uh, if, if if I get some um, uh, you know uh, should take uh, have money from the the, mm -hmm. the you know uh, the state. Yeah, I'm, I, for example, okay. right now I'm doing an internship, right? And the reason I was having a work and that work was paying me. I was working at a factory. But because I had a motorcycle accident and I have a knee problem, which the doctor has actually confirmed, and I believe the doctor has actually sent this information to the to to you guys. Now, I'm doing an internship in an institution, which is a, a, a church. I'm helping them doing some work, whatever. Now, this is not really because um, of my fault that you know I've got this knee problem, for example. So now you're telling me because I'm on this program where the government is paying my salary to do this work at this church where I am currently doing an internship. You are saying to me because the government is sending some money in this program in this way. I am now under obliged to have to be harassed by these kinds of messages. No, no, the, it's no, no, no. We have some things i should call and tell you yes. also if when when i uh, when when you get a um, what can you call it um i i said to you you should come to a, a conversation uh, yes to me for example yes. it's also some of the rules we mm -hmm. have in center for content mm -hmm. for all citizens mm -hmm. they are, are getting content but but what so, i'm what i'm saying is those are the rules but this is an inhumane rule and i think Anyone with an ounce of decency in, in them, whether they are Danish or not Danish, can see how ridiculous or mm. a form of, and, of psychological harassment this is to some and people. it's also okay that you think that. But I cannot uh, say, for example, Tenda, I'm not calling him. Mm -hmm. I should call you. Yeah, because or... you have to do your job, right? Mm. You, you, you have a contract. Okay. You have a contract. Yeah with the government and the government tells you here's your contract you have to call these foreigners mm. under this program and tell them this several times a year or whatever i see yeah. that as a form of uh, harassment for instance mm. yes. yeah and i'm sad that you see like this way but i will only con uh, information about it yes um, and i, I re wrote uh, right here that you are not uh, taking the offer and you are um yeah. Yeah, but I, I actually, I'm not taking the offer. I've never taken the offer. I will never take that no. offer. So no. never. So, you know, but, but it, I, and I'm, here's I'm, another I'm, thing I would like to say on record. I would like to say I'm a fairly, I think I understand this law. I've been told about it so many times. There's no need for them to keep reminding me about it as if to say, hey, you're forgetting. You can also repatriate. I already told you it's never going to happen. So... I don't want to be harassed because when you are when you're continually telling me something and I'm saying I don't want to hear about it, is that not a form of harassment? Then I talked about the consent because I don't I don't give my consent to the government to keep harassing me because I already have this information. I don't see why I have to be given this. Yes. To every uh, meeting we have, I should uh, inform you about the sanctions uh, rules, for mm -hmm. example, the sanctation yes. rules. Yes. And if you think that you don't want to listen to it, I can. I mm -hmm. that I I can uh, say okay. Then I don't tell yeah, you. Yeah, but it. but I, I'm talking. I, I I don't think it's the same because this is a law. But somebody thinks that also. Yeah, uh, but annoying. look, the sanctions rule, whether you are Danish or not Danish, those are going to everyone. But these ones are specifically targeting a group who have a foreign background. That's what I'm saying. Are you calling a Danish citizen right now and saying we can repatriate you or send you to Somalia or to East Europe or whatever? You're not calling no, but, Danish citizens. You're calling people you who are see, not... No, 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 no. You yes. should see the, the, the repatriation law is actually a very big help for some people who yes. want to get home yeah. and these people mm -hmm. are oh i have never heard about that oh mm -hmm. i want to do that i want to go home well, yeah. can i get wow. that money i want fantastic but, isn't it yeah yeah but that is <laughs> yes. fantastic for some people yes but i'm not those you people can never, you can never get pushed to it you yeah, can never but, get pushed to it yeah but so, it, what i'm saying is i understand the law and and I'm, I'm sure I understand many laws in this country. Do you understand? Mm. 
uh, and and all I'm saying is it's the reminder. I want to say to you, to all the all the people I have called to, I yes. have get two minutes of talking, yes. and they have just said no. Yes. And no other things we have talked about. Yes. Just that but but then, but here's the thing: I'm an outspoken uh, human rights activist. It's known in Denmark. Yeah. I used to I used to write in Julian's Post. You know, the last yeah, article. But, uh, listen, I wrote about this law to Julian's Post, and they refused to publish it a couple of uh, months ago. And now I'm actually making a documentary about this law, and I'm actually recording this conversation because these are things I feel are being swept under the carpet, and I have a right because I have freedom of speech. And remember, I'm not, I'm not, uh, this is not about you. I will not put your name in the documentary. I'm filming this conversation. I'm just saying, okay. I'm showing the world because I, I have a freedom of speech in Denmark, freedom of expression, but I feel that I don't consent to having this Uh, phone calls or these emails i see them as a form of harassment when the state the state of denmark knows my they are the ones who invited me here i never got into a boat or a dingy to come to denmark they said your freedom of speech you're writing your books go and do your work right and i worked at Julian's post and it, it even made my 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 situation more complicated people like the current minister of finance mr nikolai varmen He gave a speech welcoming me officially. I have that speech. It's an official speech he gave into this country. And then now I have a family. I have a kid coming in three months. I've got a five-year-old. And the state is saying, by the way, you can repatriate. Do you understand? It's absurd for me to but to have I that. that. Yes. But it's at a volunteer. You can say no. And yeah, you can I, say I, yes. To I already so remember. I've said no to. countless times. But what I'm saying no to is the government having to knock on my email or call me or and, and want to have the because I don't want to I said no and that is final whether it's five years from now 10 years from now 20 30 it's still no do you understand what I mean I don't understand why yeah. they need to send me this information every now and then when I already have the information you know I can print stacks of this information that the government has been sending me And it would be like, a, like, why do you keep sending me the same info? It's a waste of your time. For example, you could be doing actually much more productive work for the government right now than having this conversation. So I look at it and say the reason they are compelling you because you have a contract. So I'm, I'm not against you personally. I'm just saying I feel this is a form of the government harassing its people, uh, mm -hmm. people like myself with a foreign background. Do you understand? Yeah, and I'm, yes. I'm sad that you see it that way because the the uh, the only thing I wanted to was to tell you and inform about it because it's the law and I have to do it. Yes, like I as I said, the Nazis have, uh, in the Nazis, people who worked for the Nazis also some of them had to do their jobs and send people to the gas chambers. You know, if those people didn't want to be sent there, so I'm just saying I yeah, came here I'm for political about the reasons. Here when you said the Nazis, okay. Look, I'm simply saying I came here it's well known do you understand and I find it absurd how would you think I would explain this to my five year old oh by the way the government sends me this repatriation over every you know I, I couldn't even tell my lady today because she's writing an exam she's pregnant I was like I'm, I can't tell her they want to have this conversation I just said Can I'm so I, I think we stop the conversation right now okay, okay because fine I think right now you are taking me into something that's much bigger than what yeah, but, I have to do. Yeah, but you, that's that's the problem because you're saying the government is sending you to do this part of your job, but this is my life. Do you understand? Yeah, I, and and I my life is, is my... bigger than your job, for example. My reality I... is bigger than your job. I don't know the other people, maybe they're afraid to talk mm -hmm. back to authority. I'm not afraid of the government. These but are mere did... people who are elected into office And they can be removed from office. Laws can be made and can be changed and remade. And this is one law that I think is a form of harassment against people with a foreign background. Okay. And it is racist. Yeah. Mm. And, and I understand that right now. Okay. I, I write that you don't want to take the open and that is... Yeah, I don't want totally to be contacted. Okay. If I if you could yeah, understand but, that. I don't want yeah, to be contacted yeah, but, about this. If you could put that in the file and say, I look yeah. at it as a form of harassment. Like, for example, the next time they're going to contact me, I might have to go to the cops and say, look, I've told these people, I don't want... To, it it doesn't matter what, whether it's two years or ten days. Again. Information I, again. 
I, I know this information. Thank you very much. Mm. There are so many laws in Denmark that they mm. don't come to me every month or every six months or every two years to tell me about that law. There are so many laws in this country. But I'm a law abiding citizen. Yeah, the, I've never yeah, I've never broken law when, yes. when you are there is some rules and law we yes have but some of those it. are you telling me all the laws in denmark and all the rules in denmark are not racist what i cannot uh, this this conversation i cannot have tendai yes i understand you but i'm simply you saying there are laws in this country in this conversation. that amount I, to i have to stop you right now and yes. say thank you for the conversation well okay. thank you and i'm recording the thank conversation you. thank you very yeah, much it's it's okay tendai yes it's my right. Send it to me also. It will be on YouTube. I'll send it to you. Thank you. Okay. All but right. Tenma, yes. Tenma, we yeah. have nothing against each other. Also. No, 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 no. It's it, remember. I you are. It's this is not personal. I'm talking to the government. Okay. Not to you so, as a person. I'm sure you as a person. I'll probably have coffee with you. No problem. I'm just talking to the state, and saying this is racism. Okay. Yes. Have a good day tonight. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. All right. So that was the conversation. And I was being honest about how I feel about this. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, it, to me, it seems, sounds like harassment. And I'm speaking for many foreign people. Uh, who probably would not want to come on this camera and say this that and uh, uncomfortable getting these types of phone calls because how do you think it's going to affect you know some of these people are busy trying to get back on the job market you know many things you know i just told about my case i was working before i realized i needed to go to the doctor and get a scan and so on i was working in a job in, in some factory down there in denmark but now i can't do that kind of job you know i'm i'm uh, so now i'm working in a job which is state sponsored and uh, then the job is fundraising he is i'm actually in a process where the job is fundraising so we can get a, a salary because i'm making a project a, a film project about the city of Oslo, about denmark showing the good th things about denmark can you imagine and but the state because of some racist policies because of the right wing uh, politics that have you know just essentially filtered through many laws in Denmark I mean this is this law is designed in a way to harass you in a nice package that's what is called huga racism if you didn't know and you can tell she's uncomfortable calling me to tell me about this you know so but as I said I have no problem against the person none at all but I feel that I think the state is harassing people with a foreign background and you heard it for yourself this is drum kun that's my musician name or artist name my real name tendai frank tagarira and i'm not afraid of the government or any government